And now, the Street Rich Hip Hop Society is offering free accessible hip hop dance classes to youth of all backgrounds in Vancouver to help develop their creative potential. Vancouver's Grant Hardy dropped in on a breaking class to learn more and, of course, learn some new moves. My dancing revolves around very explosive movements, so I'm very high energy for a short period of time. My name is Philip Kim. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm currently 20 years old and I'm a b-boy. A b-boy is a break boy, so it started in the Bronx and it's all over the world now and it's just something we do. We, we, we dance, we break dance. <laughs> For Philip, break dancing is more than the dance form from the 1980s. It's still a big part of hip-hop culture today. That's why Street Rich Hip Hop Society recently opened up a drop-in space for youth to show off their moves and make friends. It's just been a great community atmosphere. We would come to practice, you would meet other people. It's so positive and everyone gets together and you're just dancing, you're having a good time, you're listening to music, you're talking, communicating, socializing. So it's always just a good time. Community building among youth has been the big goal for Street Rich founder Matthias Boone. He feels that hip hop culture has elements that make it a great vehicle to achieve positive results. I do think hip hop culture speaks to young people because it's very accessible and it has a little bit of cool factor. It's not only one thing, it's dance, it's also rap or music. It asks people to be really creative. If you look at the actual values of hip hop culture, peace, love, unity and having fun, there is like no judgment uh, of anybody in the culture. If you go to events, people uh, from all different backgrounds and races come together to celebrate art and culture. For Philip, having a positive and safe space for youth is important. I think all people around my age struggle about the future and you know what direction you're going and what you're going to do for the rest of your life. And that's a big problem that a lot of people face. And I think Street Rich and just having this dance and having a positive outlet for this and a positive outlet of self-expression uh, really lets you just kind of enjoy the moment for a little bit and just pause and just relax and remember, okay, you know, you can have fun once in a while. Through positive community building, Matthias hopes to challenge negative stereotypes surrounding hip hop culture. It's true that it started in the street and there was some gangs involved, but it was just a reaction to all these bad things in the street where that's where hip hop culture started. It was to bring out the positive from the street culture and give the youth a chance. As a young person trying to find yourself and, and uh, develop your own interest, your own way of, of life. Because of hip hop culture, I started to become interested in social work. People just maybe see you dancing, but there is a lot more to it than, than just the creative part. Um, it's, it's a way of learning how to deal with the world. <laughs> According to Philip, fun experiences through breaking have had a significant impact on his life. It's really let me travel all over the world, uh, make friends from all over the world, and Street Rich has been a part of that process, you know, allowing me to grow, giving us a space to practice. So it's really just been such a positive experience and such a growing experience for me as a person. The atmosphere around Street Rich was so welcoming that before I left, I accepted Matthias's offer to show me some dance moves. I rocked some back and forth footwork, moved my arms in and out from my body, and dropped to the floor, supporting my weight with my hands and feet, alternating from my front to my back. I ended my exhilarating dance routine with high fives, smiles, and a sweaty brow. Street Rich sounds like a wonderful way to bring people together and realize their untapped talents. It's nice that youth have this platform to work on dancing that is open and with such a wide range of styles and movements. I think whether or not parents want to acknowledge hip hop, it really has become the rock and roll of this generation. I know both of my kids love hip hop. When I asked them what it is they love, they both said the beats, the storytelling, and the social commentary. If you want to learn more about the Street Rich Hip Hop Society, check them out at streetrich.ca.